going to run through some checkpoints on the filter and make sure everything is set up properly. We'll take a look now at the clean screen differential, which we observe is at 1 PSI. Backwash is set to trigger at 7 PSI. We move to inspect the piston and we want to see that the pin will be stroking smoothly with no interruption. We'll also be checking for the timing of the movement of that pin in order to match that setting on our controller. We observe the hydraulic tubing is installed correctly. The flush outlet here we will be coming back to to check that uh, there is no back pressure at that location during backwash. We will be looking at the electric motor. So the low pressure series filters have an electric motor that drives the cleaning mechanism. We will be checking for rotation uh, at that location during backwash. We'll also be checking that inlet pressure on this model remains above 20 PSI. Uh, if we were looking at the hydraulic model filters, we'd be looking for a minimum of 40 PSI during backwash. Again, close up here on the inlet pressure gauge, we'll need to be checking this during the automatic backwash cycle. And the flush outlet pressure gauge, we'll want to see that during backwash, that needle drops down close to, if not all the way, to zero PSI. We observe the flush piping is oversized. Even though there's a bit of elevation, uh, we are going to make sure that uh, pressure drops to zero PSI. We look at the controller. Again, we'll want to match the flush duration to the piston stroke. Uh, in this installation, they have the periodic flush set at four hours for insurance. We see some of their other programming to the side there. Uh, and this will be where we will manually trigger a backwash so that we can check our piston stroke and pressures. We see here, first of all, that in fact we have rotation. That's a good thing. We see here no back pressure on the flush line, and we see a smooth and continuous stroke of the piston pin. We go now we we'll want to see another backwash. Everything moving smoothly. And returning smoothly. One more backwash and we'll want to take a look now at the inlet pressure. Again, on the low pressure series, we like to see a minimum of 20 PSI at the inlet of the filter, which we see that we have.